Oh, hey, what's up, you guys? How's it going? It's Papa, and today I am going to be opening up a brand new box of Dimension Force, the newest set here in the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG. Now, hear me out. I know I'm a little late on this, but I haven't opened up any of this set. I've only opened up, like, maybe a few entry packs at Locals, but other than that, I haven't opened this set. I wasn't really going to get a box of this, but I figured, what the hell? I didn't, I didn't open up Battles of Chaos, so I just thought might as well open up Dimension Force, and... Uh, yeah, there's still a lot of really cool cards in this set that I want to get, like Beyond the Pendulum, the other theory on Lily Bell, I think is what it's called. Uh, I already have my Reguluses, so I don't really need those, but I would not say no to others. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the opening. I, like, totally fucked that up. But yeah, guys, I am a little excited for this set, because I do like the versatility that it brings. We get to see, like, Numeron strategies, or not Numeron, we get to see Therion strategies in a bunch of other different decks if you haven't saw already over the weekend we saw like sun Avalon do well we saw abc do well uh basically just like a whole lot of cool decks uh i did get to post my abc list that just came out on my channel as well so uh without further ado let's go ahead and jump into it we'll start off with our right side so first pack it's been a while since i've done like an actual opening i don't really count the one with angel because there was a lot of like other like repercussions that came with it so let's go ahead and start uh vivitail symphonic warrior dj theory on stand up divine dragon thing and then scareclaw slash uh i know this is like a new archetype i think if i may not be mistaken i uh, don't know what any of these do but it's still a cool card nonetheless we do love trap cards this card's insane colonel on c string what it is it's basically marauding captain except it summons two level four or lower um, warrior monsters and they had different names uh so that's really cool you can use this with goki i like that card a lot we're gonna see how many of those we get and then just a bunch of other commons uh, i don't really want to touch on too many of the super rares because there's not really a whole lot of good super rares in this set but we have scareclaw balloon devouring sarcophagus vivid tail Balagar cadet and zombie reborn so this is just more zombie support uh if if it's what I think it is, it's a monster reborn for zombie cards. Uh, target one zombie in either graveyard, banish one monster with the same name from your deck or extra deck, and if you do special summon the targeted monster, it's a little worse than monster reborn, I guess. Uh, if this card is in your graveyard, you can shuffle one of your banished zombie monsters into the deck, and if you do, set this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. So, I guess that's kind of cool. Uh, I don't know if it'll really see a whole lot of play, but still cool nonetheless, I guess. Uh, next, Pack number three. See, Therion Duke Yol, Ice Jade Curse, Part of Plant Biff Split, Backup Team, and Heroic Champion Clave, uh, Clave Soulish. I don't know. Probably a bad card. <laughs> yeah, so a lot of these cards I actually just don't really care about too much in this set, if I may be honest. Again, like, I'm mainly looking for Therion cards. Uh, I know uh, the Illegal Knight is also in this set, so that's kind of cool. Uh, Vlon Hydra, Part of Plant, Mad Mauler. Hello and Libomancer blended or blended bonded. So I guess that's a card as well. Uh, oh, another colonel. Cool. Uh, so yeah, there's a legal knight in here. There's Beyond the Pendulum. That's a really cool card. Uh, if I pull it, I do kind of want to like play test with pendulums because I used to play them in the past back when Electromite was here. But I don't know. We'll toy around with it. Uh, Predator Plant is also in this uh, set as well. There's a whole lot of Predator Plant support. It's kind of cool. Uh, speaking of kind of cool, is the Dynamorphia cards. This is a uh, new support, Dynamorphia Frenzy. Uh, during your opponent's main phase, pay half your life points, fusion summon one Dynamorphia monster from your extra deck, using only one monster from your deck and one monster from your extra deck as fusion material. <sighs> when your opponent activates a card or effect while your life points are 2,000 or less, you can banish this card from your graveyard. You take no effect damage from your opponent's card effects this turn. Yeah, so, interesting card, I guess. Uh, it's an ultra, so we'll take it. Uh, finally, not a, another super rare. Uh, next... I played against uh, Dynamorphia once, and all it did was burn itself to death. So that's cool, I guess. Uh, Crown Tengu, uh, that one. Ichiroku, that. And Odd Eyes Wing Dragon. That's a cool looking card. I really like the look of like Synchro Pendulum cards, but it's just, uh, they're just not that good, mainly. I don't really think they're all that great. I mean, a Pendulum card should be a Pendulum card, a Synchro should be a Synchro. I don't really think it should really mix it more than they have, but who am I to blame? All right, uh, Symphonics. So there's a lot of Symphonic cards in here, too. I know I've probably gone over a few of them by this point. Uh, Ledger Book and Motor Frenzy, just a machine monster. 
Uh, this card's actually kind of cool. I read this card. It's a it's a really cool common, but it's just not that good, unfortunately. And there's our play set of the colonel, or colonel, I guess. I forget that that's how you spell it, because there's no R in there, so it just looks dumb, but I didn't make the dictionary. Uh, War Rock Medium, Theory on Duke, Scareclaw Alternative, Scareclaw Balloon, and oh my god. So, uh, Psychic and Punisher, this is like a, this is a cool card. I mean, it's not the best card that you can get from this set. Uh, while your life points are less than or equal to your opponents, the Synchro Summon card is unaffected by your opponent's activated effects. Once per turn, you can pay a thousand life points and target one monster you control and one card your opponent controls. Banish them, and at the start of the validity phase, you can make this card gain attack equal to the difference in life points between you and your opponent. So, it's a cool card. I mean, it's not the greatest card, again, but it, it's a cool card nonetheless, I suppose. I'll just move these here, put that up here. But, yeah, and then commons. So, next, we got another pack. Let's get it. Uh, when I was opening up uh, some of this set, there was uh, uh, weird ratios. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure everyone saw the... Uh, the um, picture on Zodiac. Uh, wait, actually, I know this card. This card's insane. Uh, this card's really good uh, for those that know, you know, but uh, yeah, that's really it. Uh, yeah, there's a picture on Zodiac where this like one locals open up a bunch of cases and they got like a shit ton of Starlight rares. So unfortunately that's not this box, but I'd be tight if it was. Uh, who knows? We could still possibly get a Starlight. That would be insane. Uh, Chow Sai, the Ghost, Re or Ghost Stopper. Another player can activate the effects of spell or trap cards in the graveyard. If this card is sent from the field to the gra graveyard, you can target one spell or trap your opponent's graveyard, banish it. So it's kind of like a Kaiku, but it's like a worse Kaiku. Uh, another C-string. Perfect. Uh, but yeah, when I was opening the set, we had like a whole bunch of weird ratios at our locals. And uh, like there was like three secret boxes. There was like six ultra boxes. It was a really weird, it's a really weird set. And speaking of ultras... We got Starving Venom, Predator Power Fusion Dragon. That's a name. Enjoy writing that on your deck list. Uh, one Dark Fusion Monster and one Regular Fusion Monster. Uh, once per turn, when a card or effect is activated, quick effect, you can tribute one monster on either field with a Predator Planner, and if you do, negate the activation. Oh, wow. Okay, that's actually kind of good. It doesn't destroy it, but it negates it. Uh, this Fusion Summon card you control is sent to the graveyard by an opponent's card effect. You can target one Dark Monster in your graveyard, special summon it. And you can only use it the once per turn. So it's a cool card, I guess. But not the most competitive one, but still cool. Uh, last pack on the right side. I'm just going to kind of speed through it. I just realized we're already like eight minutes in. Uh, Hero Champion, Balakar Cadet, that one, Therion, and Lobomancer Mystic Girl. Cool. So now we're on the other side of the box. Let's get it. Uh, so again, we're looking for like Regulus, Lily Bell, uh, Therion mainly. Uh, we just want more theory on cards, the more happier you're going to be. Uh, Sylvan, Dance Upon, no theory on card. Oh, well, but uh, this set is cool. I mean, I feel like a lot of the value is just trying to, like, find its place out right now in the format. Uh, there's not really too much, like, ooh, what's this? Theory on Cross. That's a cool looking card. I'm not going to read it, but it looks cool. Uh but yeah, there's a lot of, like, good value in here. There's definitely a lot of, like, hidden potential in some of these cards if you, like, have fully looked at the set. Uh, I haven't looked too much into it, but all the secret rares, like, do have a lot of potential to be good, like, in the future. Uh, is that an ultra? Yeah, Red Eye Zombie Dragon Lord. So I've actually read this one. Uh, during your opponent's turn, quick effect, you can target one zombie monster in your graveyard, except Red Eye Dragon Lord, special summon it. If this card is in your graveyard, you can banish one zombie monster you control, special summon this card, and you can only use it once per turn. So it's just more zombie zombie support. Uh, it's a really cool card though, and it definitely looks really nice. Whoever's been like writing, uh, not writing, whoever's been drawing all these cards lately, gold star to them. Because a lot of these artworks are just insanely detailed. Uh, Ledger Book, Predator Plant, Mad Mauler, General, blah, 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 blah. and then Little Romancer realized. Uh, I realized that this is not a good set. So that's fun. Uh, next. All the trash is starting to pile up next to me. Uh, Theory on Duke Yule, Theory on Stand Up, Hero Champion, that one, and Branded Banishment. I think this one has like a little bit of value. This one's actually kind of good, if I wasn't mistaken. Uh, target one Despia monster or one level eight or higher fusion monster in your graveyard special summon it, then you can apply this effect. Fusion summon one level eight or higher fusion monster from your extra deck by banishing fusion monster listed on it from either field. That's actually kind of good. Wait. Wait. <laughs> That's actually kind of good. Fuck this card. 
Yeah, no, we don't uh, we don't like Despia in this on this channel. Uh, don't ask for a Despia list because I'm not posting one. I don't like the deck. I don't really think it's like that cool, that exciting. Like I've never been a big fan of fusion summoning. Uh, for those that know me, I just think it's like kind of whatever. It's a cool mechanic, but just let. Oh my good god! Speaking of a bad mechanic, Oddeye's Pendulum Graph Dragon. This is just great. What a great pull. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna read it. That card is like, it's a lot of writing and then it's just not the secret area you wanted. So, oh well, sucks to suck. It is what it is. That's why you buy your singles and you don't buy sealed product. Uh, if you wanna have some fun and say fuck it, like, yeah, sure, go ahead, buy buy some sealed product, but always support always support your locals. Uh, General Pro, Reverse Jar, uh, Backup Team, Scare Claw Arrival. Yeah, this is just like kind of like an impulse thing. I didn't really plan on doing a box opening for this set, but I saw it and like, I don't know. I just haven't opened up like a full booster box lately. So I just said, fuck it. Uh, Hero Champion, Scareclaw, Battle Guard, a Ledger Book, and Immortal Dragon. So there's another super. Reaching the end of the box here, we got about four packs left. I guess if we were going to pull one more Ultra, I think the Theory on uh, Field Spell Ultra would be the way to go. Uh, Bi Plip, Ice Shade Curse. Uh, that and oh this one's actually really good too uh and oh no punk deer note so uh punk actually got a lot of uh good representation at the regionals this past weekend uh if, for those that went to pasadena it topped and uh, i think in a few other different regionals they also topped as well punk's a really cool strategy i don't see myself playing it uh but it does a lot and it's a really fun archetype and i could tell people just have a lot of fun when they do use it uh but yeah, definitely has a lot of potential to just keep getting better, and then who knows if we're just going to keep getting more support, because a lot of people like it, a lot of people like using it, so it's bound to happen, right? Uh, ooh, that pack did not want to come out. Second to last pack, we got Sarcophagus, Vivid Tail, Battle Guard, Hydra, and Changshi, the Spiriato. Uh, last pack, uh, again, not banking on a whole lot here. I guess there's a chance at a potential Starlight, but I'm not crossing my fingers. I mean, we got four Ultras, we got two Secrets, so we already got what we're supposed to get. I guess we'll just go three to the be or three to the front. Uh, Reaper Foom, Haunted Zombies, Scareclaw Acro, Sarcophagus, Vivid Tail, Cadet, Feline Hydra, and, oh, I, I skipped one. Okay, uh, Hero Champion, Clave Solish. So, oh well, unfortunate, but, you know, it was still cool. It was still fun to just open up a box again. Uh, we got four of the C-String Kernels. Uh, I probably got more. I just skipped over them. But uh, this is our supers. If you just kind of skip through the video, I guess I'll reward you. Why not? Uh, our ultras, Deer Node, Zombie Dragon Lord, uh, those two. And then uh, obviously not the best secrets you could pull, but that's the gamble that you have to take when you buy sold products. So uh, yeah, guys, that's going to go ahead and do it for this video. Please uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. We're almost at 900 subscribers, and that's when I plan on doing my... Uh, collection update so if you want to see that please subscribe to the channel and until next time guys this has been papa and i will catch you all in my next video take care everyone